Hi, it's Simon and Notion just quietly dropped some new iOS shortcut options that will massively improve how we use Notion on our iPhone or iPad. Here's everything that's new and how to make the most of iOS shortcuts on your phone or iPad to really get your device singing. And okay, yes, still no native Notion app for the iPad, but in the meantime, these little shortcuts might just be my favorite new sleeper feature for using Notion on your iPad or iPhone on the go and as a second brain. So I'm going to demo this in the current iOS 18.1 and on my iPhone 16 Pro, which I'm rather enjoying. And it's easier to set up than you think. Now, as you can see right here, I've used these methods we'll demo today to customize my whole iPhone design with my custom minimal icon and cover packs. You can even jump to different versions of them using focus mode, which I think is rather cool. So do check those out in the description if you're interested in them too. I'm just gonna jump back to my Rams mode, inspired by good old Dita Rams. Now I've always used iOS shortcuts to map actions to either bookmark icons like these on my phone, that jump me into the item, or even on the action button, which you can use to create a specific shortcut. This one is setting a focus timer, which I rather like in Endel, and you can kind of do a lot of clever things with it. And my favorite of all has to be this one. If I lock the phone, you can also now edit what used to be my flashlight button to jump straight into Notion. And that shortcut opens my complete Notion second brain, which I run my entire life in. Check out the links in the description if you wanna know more. You can even do a little back tap action that will open things up, which I think is rather good. If you go into your shortcuts page, I've created a bunch of them that open different apps. You can do plus. If you search for Notion, we have add a text box to a page, ask Notion AI. We've also got a create a document, create a document without opening. So these are gonna be amazing for adding tasks to a task database, for example. And I believe it works with database templates because if we just take a little look the information on this. You can select the workspace, the database, and even the template with which to create. And they've also added open document, so I can do that now natively, and you can pick what you wanna pick. And they have also added a Notion search option. What's really cool is it will also just go to some of your more recently opened pages down here. So I can just very quickly just add one of these and it will create it. So let's say I wanted to jump to my content manager. I can just create that, click done. And then if I click that shortcut, it jumps straight to the action. That's as quick and as easy as you need it. So what if you wanna quickly add that to the home page? Well, that's really simple. We're gonna go back in, click on the dots of the uh, shortcut you created, click the little arrow at the top and click add to home screen. Now you can now choose an icon from down here, say, let's say it was something like a computer and you can maybe change the color to a color you want. But my favorite is to actually select custom icon and choose a file. And then here we are in my icon pack on files, which you can download at bettercreating.com. How about that? I'm gonna search for content because I've labeled it around what I want. Look in the mid gray version, there it is. Select that and you can even select everything within the title and delete it so there's no title. I click add and you should see that it's turned up at the top of the page. How about that? Clicking it is now a quick button to my content manager. So now let's look at some more shortcut creation. So you wanna to go to shortcuts. If you can't find it, just swipe down and search for shortcuts and you'll see it there. Okay, press the plus button. Now if we search Notion, create document, and within this, we can click this little dot and you can also show here account workspace. Uh, so within that, I'm gonna select my account, select my workspace as better creating, then find the database and I wanna search for tasks. There it is. I'm gonna select that. That's my task database. And this is gonna to be to add a new task. So to do that, we're also gonna rename this. Just click in and click rename. You can call it whatever you like, yep. Click done. Title, 
I want to ask each time because the title is going to be the task, like so. Body, I'm going to, well, body we can just ask each time if there's anything more we want to put and then open it. I'm going to click done. We're going to click done on save and I'm going to do a new BC task. Run the shortcut. We're going to say buy pepper cat food. Done. We can then put the body, Sainsbury's, it's a shop, other shops are available, and you click done. And it has created it. And you can see it's dropped it in to the actual page because we are also opening it. Now you could set this so it doesn't open, right? So the other option for this, and I'll show you the results in a moment, would be to go back in and you would just do the same thing but create without opening from here. Now, if we now jump into my Notion quick drop inbox, this is very similar to my full Notion Life OS uh, template. Anything that's added as new turns up in the inbox here. And it means that if I want to, I'm then able to simply update it when I come back to it on the computer or just click it complete and it clears it. Now, what if you wanted to add new tasks by doing it on the action button. Well, that's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings and within settings, I want to scroll down to action button and you're gonna select shortcut. I'm gonna look under shortcuts and find my new BC task notion. I can then come back out. If I press and hold it, it will bring up the shortcut. Add tasks on the action button with prompts directly on your iPhone. How powerful is that? Now, I think this would be a super cool solution to do things like journaling, jumping straight to a journal page where you're then able to click the journal button and then select any of the templates within your journal like I'm doing on my Life OS. So let's now go back to shortcuts and have a little look at another option within here. What if it is that you wanna search your Notion workspace? This is gonna be super powerful if you're looking for information in your second brain. So we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna call this Ask Notion. So let's rename it, click done. Now we've got a couple of options here. If we go to search for Notion shortcuts, you could use search, but I'm actually going to go for the funky Ask AI version if you do have Notion AI. And I'm going to add that to the shortcut. And the question, I'm going to go ask each time. I'm going to click done on that. And there is my Ask Notion item. And I actually want to map that to this button here, which currently, if I click on it, opens my quick drop inbox. So what we're going to do is hold your finger on the home page and click customize. We're gonna click on the lock screen and then on this little button here, you're going to delete what was in that little area. I don't know if you can see this, let's make that clear. You're gonna click again onto that dot. If it doesn't work, come out and start again. And from here, we're gonna pick shortcuts. And the shortcut we're gonna choose, as you might have guessed, we're gonna search for it is ask notion. That is added. Click done. So let's use it. We're going to click and hold. And the great thing about this is you can use the speech function as well. What do I know about essentialism in my better creating workspace? We can search. It's going to search for the subject. And what's really cool about this is you can also then click on the references and jump to them and see where else you have been talking about them. I use this in a video. Okay, let me know in the comments any other use cases that you come up with for these Notion shortcuts and any more you'd like to see from Notion, we can ask them. And if you like the look of these icon packs, then do jump over to bettercreating.com where you can download various versions of them, including 192 custom icons, matching covers that disappear the dock and that new physical buttons pack that I rather like and is inspired by Dieter Rams, if you recognize it. And of course, there are some Notion specific colorways in all the Notion native colors that you can also check out. Now, while you can now use Notion far more seamlessly with iOS, what about honing the system in Notion that you actually use to truly work for you? Well, for that, I recommend watching either this video next for my full guide to getting started in Notion without the overwhelm, and there's a free template going, or this one down here for the full tour of that latest Notion Life OS template to fast 
fast track to your perfect Notion setup. Hit my face to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.